Hello and welcome to another episode of RSC TV. My name is Scott Hibberson and I'm the e-learning advisor for learning resources at the JISC Regional Support Centre based here at the University of Leeds. This short episode will focus on sourcing free to use digital media for teaching and learning and is targeted specifically at teaching staff and learning support staff whose role involves in some way the creation of digital learning objects. So what do we actually mean by digital media? We're really talking about images, video and audio that are then used to create a digital learning object. Such learning objects can either be used to complement face-to-face learning or as part of a wider selection of tools in the institution's virtual learning environment or VLE to support online learning. Now, although there are a vast range of sites available where you can source digital media, the difficult part is sourcing quality material that is appropriate for your learners and has also been labelled for reuse. Well, this is where the RSC can help. If you're working on a limited budget, you may want to explore many of the free sites that are available that offer a Creative Commons search option for digital media and the RSC can happily point you in the right direction if you don't know where to start. One caveat though, you always need to exercise your own judgement when evaluating material sourced from these sites as the digital media uploaded may be labelled for reuse but the person uploading may not always have had permission to upload the material in the first place always check. Alternatively, if you simply don't have enough time to wade through all of these sites, or if you need some guidance on demystifying some of the jargon around acceptable use and copyright, there are a growing number of subsidised resources through GIS collections, in addition to the free sites already mentioned, that are available via their website. After creating your own digital learning objects, you may well want to make these available to the wider community under the Creative Commons licensing scheme to promote your own course or institution. If you need guidance on when it comes to defining how others can use and reuse your material, here's a quick overview. Creative Commons is a not-for-profit organisation who offers free use of their licensing system that allows you to define who can reuse your digital learning objects, for what purpose, and how they can alter or adapt your material, if at all, by assigning the appropriate CC license to it. For example, if you see the attribution logo next to the work, it's important to give the author credit for their work in any context in which it is used, in much the same way as a learner would acknowledge and reference all sources they'd use in an assignment. The no derivatives logo next to the work allows for reuse as long as the work is not changed in any way and is used in its entirety. The share alike logo allows you to remix, tweak and build upon the work and the commercial and non-commercial logos define whether or not you can reuse the work for profit or not. You may find a combination of any of these logos against a particular work. It's important to comply with these conditions as many digital learning objects that are made widely available may come under the scrutiny of regulators but in addition to the legal implications the learning provider also has a responsibility to educate the new cohort of learners in good academic practice. We also work closely with our sister organisations, JISC Infonet and JISC Digital Media. JISC Infonet have developed a number of toolkits that help with the strategic planning and management of information and learning technology within institutions. JIS Digital Media also have a range of advice documents that can help you to make an informed decision when sourcing the best digital media that the web has to offer. Well, I hope you found that episode on sourcing free-to-use digital media for teaching and learning really interesting. And don't forget, if you'd like more help and support from us, please contact us on the links at the bottom of your screen now, and we look forward to hearing from you. That's all for now. Goodbye.